Hello and welcome to Jigsaw Shed. Now my dad's birthday and father's day are very close to each other so I decided to make him a present that will accompany something we both enjoy together um, which is wine. So I've got some floorboards left from the craft shed build uh, that I will use for this project. Um, most of my cutting will be done outside as it's a nice day and it will save cleaning up in the workshop after. So hope you enjoy. Having only drawn a rough outline of the project, most of the designing was occurring as I was going along. So despite the saying of measure twice, cut once, I had to cut twice. A number of happy accidents occurred throughout the project, but it all added to the character of the final product.
this section of the video, you will notice some waviness in the video. This was not an intended effect, but instead it was due to the shade having moved and the sun hitting my phone directly. So the camera started to overheat. I only noticed when I stopped recording, so once it had cooled, I moved location. This was probably my most favourite part of this project, as I got to play with fire and um, use it to bring some character to the wood. Using a piece of chestnut from my off-cut bin, I turned the handle. 
It was sanded to 400 grit and finished with chestnut cellulose sanding sealer, acrylic gloss lacquer, burnishing cream and microcrystalline wax. I applied a number of coats of clear lacquer which I purchased from Halfords for my previous project, the water drop bowl, and to speed up the process I used a heat gun between each layer.
Using chestnut products burnishing cream, I hand rub the surface to increase the shine from the lacquer. There you have it, the perfectly imperfect wine bottle and glass caddy. Now, I did not have as much time on this as I wanted to, um, only because I'm getting the house ready uh, for a new arrival, which should be here any day now. So some of my future videos may be a bit delayed coming up, um, as I won't have as much time for projects. Um, however, um, with this, I managed to play with various techniques and put a concept together that was in my head. Um, and hopefully we'll make a nice gift for my dad who I'm finally getting to see this weekend. So now all we need is a fire to be lit, a good South African braai and a good glass of wine. So if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you've not done so yet please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.